new name. So we're changing the channel name, guys. We are just gonna get right into it. It is going to be one of those kind of videos. We're gonna do an update. I have been filming a ton so that I could be consistent. I have so much to share. I'm so excited that we are in this place. As I mentioned many moons ago in my last video, I had been kind of feeling at a stalemate a little bit with this channel, not because of my beautiful, lovely, supportive audience, but just in the kind of content that I was making. I think 2020 changed everything for me. Our changing economy changed a lot for me in terms of how I personally consume clothes. My lifestyle changed. I'm a fashion girl, right? So I'm always going to love clothes and we're not going to abandon that on this channel. But as I mentioned, my original YouTube channel was very focused on like travel and lifestyle and we are very much getting back into the lifestyle of it all with a focus on home decor, which is part of a style, right? Because we love things to look good. So welcome to Deeply Madly Modern. If you don't know, Deeply Madly Modern is the name of my Instagram account where I do decor and my TikTok. And so I just want things to be cohesive and I get dressed will live in our hearts forever, but it's also still my blog name, which I update here and there, but more importantly, is going to be a newsletter. So the newsletter that many of you are signed up for will have weekly shares of just like fashion things and also style things that I like. I'm trying to debate if it's gonna be just kind of fashion beauty style or if there's gonna be a little bit of home mixed in there too because it's just my passion and I gotta be honest, you know, I gotta be me. So let's get into updates. Um, the last we talked, first of all, happy new year, okay? Happy New Year. The update. I had a really good holiday. I did share in my last like full video. I did a bunch of shorts, which I really love shorts. And I know you guys are like 30 seconds, two minutes. No, ma'am, you want it longer. And we are getting to that. But I did a bunch of shorts in December. But before then, I kind of shared what was going on with me. We lost my dad, as I mentioned. So if you don't know, that happened. And it was kind of at the top of last year. And it really set the course for um, how my year went. I just really hunkered down and needed to focus on certain things and needed to not focus on other things. And so one of those things was YouTube that was really challenging for me. And so this coming holiday season, because we now have some trauma associated with the holiday season, my family and I really wanted to be together. So me and Carla and Christine, her husband and the kids, we all spent New Year's in Palm Springs. Before that, I did go to Mexico with Carla, my other cousins and my aunts, which was really sweet and lovely. But New Year's was like such a vibe. First of all, I don't think I've spent New Year's with Carla since literal childhood. So it was just amazing to have them at Palm Springs in my house and have the kids there. And we, you know, it was chilly. So we like did hot tub, we did around town stuff. We went out to Joshua Tree. We did a lot. I'm gonna pop in footage here of that trip and what we were doing, but you know, we really just soaked it all in. The kids had such a good time. We drove around and they got to see some of the beautiful architecture and just had the best, best, best experience. And I got to like show off the house, which is like super mostly done. A full house tour of Palm Springs is coming. Um, I'm gonna be recording it in two weeks. I did make some changes, so I had recorded it, but I made some kind of major changes. So I'm going to re-record that house tour. So that's coming up and that's super exciting. So yeah, we spent New Year's together. Then I came back and I have been on the most intense organizational kick of my life. Here's the thing, right? I am late diagnosed ADHD and I have some spectrum things going on that like really explains a lot about my personality, it explains a lot about my habits and because I didn't have, get to have like this like productive or refreshed feeling at the beginning of last year because of everything with my father, this year I really have just like grabbed the bull by the horns and just attacked like drawers and all sorts of things. So um, we're gonna have some really fun footage coming up of that whole process. I think I'm gonna do a whole video about like how I got organized and like how I spent my January. That'll probably be like either the next video or the following. So I'm talking about like 
one, doing it myself, doing it with friends, and then ending up hiring professional organizers. Best money I've ever spent because it was for me. Like, I don't know if you're like this, but I'm, I'm a giver. Like, I love to spoil people in my life. I love to give. Um, giving to yourself in certain ways can be hard. Like, sure, I can give myself a pillow or a sofa, but giving something to myself that is like time and that's gonna like set me up for like the best like environment or mental health stuff isn't always the easiest for me. And like, honestly, like working with those organizers changed the game for me. And um, so that just finished up. So we're gonna do a whole deep dive into like how I'm getting organized and that is gonna be really exciting. So the other thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna do a house tour of here. So if you're confused, I live in Los Angeles and I have an apartment here. I purchased a home in Palm Springs, which I'm going to be showing you. Um, that Palm Springs place is for me, my family, and for you guys because it is going to be a vacation rental and I did like went to the nines for like comfort plus size friendliness you know um, accessibility I really worked hard on that and so I'm excited to share all of that so um, we're gonna do an LA apartment tour we're gonna do a Palm Springs house tour we're going to be doing um, this whole organized organization vibe video and then okay and then we have a couple of series coming up one there's a trash truck i don't know if you can hear them one i mentioned how life in la is so different than life in new york for me and one of the things i miss the absolute most about new york city is the discoverability of everything how you just wander around and discover things and la is a city of destination where i have to intentionally set out to go somewhere and or to know about a place and to figure it out and find things so that is also part of like the organization stuff i've been doing it's also been like mental organization and things like writing things down and like planning and all of this so one of the series we're going to be doing is kelly kind of like discovering LA it's gonna have a cute name I haven't thought of it yet but one thing I did recently is that I went to the foot nanny I'm gonna go back I wanted to experience it without documenting so that I could be in the moment and be present um, but I'm gonna go back and <laughs> share this experience with you the most elaborate iconic pedicure of my natural life okay so stuff like that we're gonna be trying beauty treatments we're gonna be trying out different spas we're gonna be trying out different wellness and and health things that are really fun and just this and restaurants like all that fun stuff we did in New York but it's gonna live in a beautiful little catalog of like a playlist the other thing we're gonna do is something that I've done a little bit on other social but it's way more built out now and it's called home decor homies and i'm going to be doing house tours of people that i think are cool in the country and beyond potentially already filmed two of them you guys are going to be so excited i love to see how other people live i love to talk to my friends and just hang out with them in their beautiful homes or you know just kind of ask people where they got things and really fun so that is going to be so exciting i really hope that you guys are excited for this change and it is the way that one i can show up here so if you know you're interested in seeing me this is what i want to do and it has just reignited a fire in me that i cannot believe because i'm so excited for this channel moving forward so we have a couple series happening other updates for here you know i'm changing things all the time or if you don't know please you know if you're not into the other socials i understand but if you are please give us a follow on the TikTok and the Instagrams, you know, deeply, madly modern everywhere because I change things so much and I think it's fun to just see like moment to moment, like what I'm up to. Right now I'm converting my dining room, I'll pop in an old photo here of my dining room, converting my dining room into an office. And now the dining room is this, the table is over here by the window. So I have a very large living room, so I'm maximizing that space. So that's another fun project that we're gonna be working on that I'm sharing. Um, right now I only have the desk in, and then I found this really beautiful oak uh, bookshelf. And that's also in but I'm waiting for the room to be fully kind of done I'm gonna document the process and you'll be seeing that when it's complete as well so lots of decor 
lots of lifestyle, lots of discovering, and lots of checking things out with each other. I thank you so much for always rocking with me. Um, some of you are, you know, less like, you always say that, and it's just like, I'm telling you my earnest truth in the moment, but I on purpose, this time pre-filmed a bunch before I came back so that we could be really on it with each other. So the next thing I think I'm going to be doing is, you know, showing you kind of around this place, um, showing you around my Palm Springs place. We have home decor homies, which we're gonna probably do, but first, 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 we'll probably do the organizational video where I just kind of talk way more in depth about getting organized, some tips, some discoveries, and showing you what my organization looks like in action because it is satisfying. So thank you. Happy New Year. Deeply Madly Modern. This is us. Let's go. Make sure you go to the description box if you're interested in the And I Get Dressed newsletter. There's also going to be a Deeply Madly Modern newsletter. I just decided in this moment there's going to be two separate newsletters because I know some people just exclusively want home content and some people just exclusively want kind of my former like just fashion beauty stuff. So if you're just interested in like plus fashion, where to find things, I got you. We're always going to talk about that. And in things like vlogs or even discovering new stores and things, there will be dedicated fashion content. So don't worry, you will see it all. And also, you know, I'm going to always come with the fire fit. What I'm wearing right now is an old outfit from ASOS. I've been re-wearing stuff a ton, ton, ton because I just don't have a need to purchase so much clothing because my lifestyle doesn't demand it. So um, I'm a re-wearer. You're going to see this many times. If it ever pops back up, it's one of those things like low-key ASOS is sold out quickly they should have restocked this 25 times because it would sell through every time it's two pieces please say pleats with these awesome women on it and hello it's black history month and it's giving very much like 70s you know black exploitation i don't know funky outfit vibes i'm into it so that is it that is the video thank you for watching thank you for rocking with me if you're new here welcome Follow along as I show you all the flea markets, all the decor, all the cool vibes. And yeah, thanks for watching. Love you, mean it. Bye.